M0FXB Hamtech Retivis RA89 dual band radio. Let's program it using the Retivis software and then we'll look at the Chirp software. But to start with, we've got the Retivis software, which you can download at this link here, starting retivis.com. And it's also got the drivers you're gonna need, the software that runs, you just click it, run it. I, I recommend you extract it to a folder. You've got it here, extract to a folder and then run it. And when you've opened it, it looks like this, okay? Now, my, I had problems with mine running. So if you, once the cable is connected to the radio in the twin pin Kenwood style connection, the other end into your PC after the driver's installed, right click on the Windows Square Device Manager. And then you'll get the comms here. So mine, I had to change mine a bit. So it's prolific. PL2303GS USB. I had to right click it, then go properties. So right click properties. You may not have to do this. Port settings. And then I had to select 57600. And then I went into advanced and I changed the number to a lower number because I was getting a very high number. So you do a drop down, select one that's, that doesn't say in use, uh, and then you're done. Yeah, okay. Click OK. And then after that, everything started working. So let's read. So at the top here, we just opened it. We have to set our com. So we go com port select. First thing, I think, is select the bit rate. See that? 57600. Com select. Then I selected two, which is the one we've got. And then I read and it works straight away. This sort of speed. It looks similar to chirp, I suppose. And I've, I've, I've put two or three in there already and I haven't, it's so, it's so long winded to add names. I just didn't bother really, although there's a couple of letters there. So adding a frequency in VFO mode and then saving it by holding down the F, then the hash. Fine, that works fine, no problem. But the names is too long winded. So have a quick look at the settings here that you can change a minute, see if there's any read, write, file, it's not, it's not really that much to look at, is there on this? What's this one here? That's the version. I did do a firmware update. Okay, so that's all been updated already. And there's not really much there. You can open files, save files. I can see why people are using Chirp. So we'll just quickly put the name in. Let's go down here a bit. VFO. And you open this radio by holding down the, the bottom, not the PTT, but the two buttons down. Hold that while to, and number nine while turning on and it opens up this radio. So there's your receive frequency for 150 megs, 240, 450. Yeah, okay, that's your VFO modes. I'm just going through these things now. Basic. Right, that's better. Now we're seeing all our settings, but I understand where they are right now. They're all down the side. So display mode, yeah, which we set. You have to be in memory, in name mode on this one, but on the, on the radio it said memory to show the actual memory names. Squelch, the backlight is maximum of seven. They could do a firmware update on that, I think. Channel select. So it's showing all the settings that are in my radio. That's fine, so that works. DTMF, I haven't tested it, but my guess is hold down the PTT, type the numbers, it's gonna work. I'll do that in a separate video. Then you've got some tones here. Right, let's move on to chirp. Frequency range, hmm. I'm sure if you change that, as long as it's within the hardware of the radio, and then you've got your, your broadcast radio, which does work well, and a little torch on the front. So let me just close that down and open up Chirp. Right, just normal Chirp, download the latest version, go to radio. Um, download from radio, that's when you select the radio. So port we know is two. Uh, it's definitely not Yesu. Um, Retivis. Retivis. RA89, click OK. And it's already reading, and look how fast it is. Nice and fast. 
this is more like it. So now I can put in some names. So here, that's Hubnet there. Hubnet. And typing in the frequency in the other device would have been the same. You just double click it, type in the frequency 434550. And that's GB3BC. This is so much better. See, uh, and then that one, I can't remember what that repeat is called. I'll have to put GB3. Um, let's do another one. So we'll go 145.600. GB3 WR. Like so. And then obviously tone. We do want just tone 94.8. At the top for Hubnet, I need. 77 that's all good you do need to set your offset so gb3wr is 0 0.600 so that means that when you key the mic oh it's actually giving me the option to choose there so minus shift okay when you key the mic it re it reduces the frequency by that amount and that's the transmit frequency for a repeater because repeaters can't receive and transmit on the same frequency so let's do a 77 ones now. 430.925. Did I type that wrong? Oh yeah, I just changed that letter. And it's GB3FI, which is near me. Tone, and that's 94, that's 77. So slide up, 77. Uh, and the shift here would be seven dot six hundred and it gives you the thing if it's a plus or a minus so it sort of asks you after you put it in all the power here the only one I need on low power is um, I'll leave it on medium is the hub net nuggets in my house so that's it and as we go along we could go file save so we don't lose that and we'll save it to my folder that I created for this radio which was called RA89 Find it. I'm never good at finding files. I do follow the alphabet. There it is there. Here. And then we'll go save. We save that as you go along. You can cut and paste and all that. I don't really not really into that. Download from radio, upload from radio. What's query source? Oh look at that. You can go to radio reference, repeater book, DMR. That's all good, isn't it? A load of help options there. Settings are here. That's where I got a bit lost on the other one. Settings are here. Change exactly the same settings. Now there are some advanced settings where you can change the boot up pick and things like that. I should radio. It's definitely better than um, the original. They put a lot of work into this, don't they? Thanks so much to Chirp. So now we're going to write it to the radio. Upload to radio. Click OK. And it's going in. I should have some names on there now. So I know it's not the clearest image, but let's see if I can uh, show you the name. Just like so. Tune down to take the plug out. Go A and B, so you just push the A, B. That takes you up. VFO memory, so the hash, that's VFO, that's the hash at the bottom, and then hash again for memory, memory channel. If you want the radio, just hold down the hash, and then all you do is just go to the they are GB3BC hubnet, which I don't think is turned on at the moment. Two, three, four, five. FI should key up. M0 FXB test. Quiet, but it, it did open it. So it's a nice chunky 10 watt radio, and it is 10 watts. So uh, thanks so much for, for watching my channel, and please like and subscribe. 7.3, all the best.